Let your inner artist run wild with Painting Creator and make your own brushstroke animations to drop into your projects. Great for creating bespoke animated text. Or custom wipes and reveals. Or quickly and easily call out elements in your footage that you want the viewer to pay attention to. Let's dive into how it works. Painting Creator is accessible from the main toolbar. And whatever is displayed on the timeline when you click the icon will be loaded into the Painting Creator interface for you to use as a reference or tracing background for your creation. There's two modes for Painting Creator, Animation and Still. Animation will record your brush strokes once you hit record. And once you hit stop, your finished animation will be here on the right. Or select Still mode and take a snapshot at any moment. Let's go through how to use Painting Creator in different scenarios. The neatest way to create painted text is to trace over text on your timeline. Place your cursor over your text clip or graphic and load Painting Creator. Or, because your reference image can be anything you want, if you want it to be something other than your current preview pane, just go to this icon and import a graphic. Find a brush you like. There's plenty to choose from. Then pick a color. And add a texture if you like. And then choose freehand or straight line. And the size of the brush. And how transparent the brush is. Background opacity is the transparency of your reference image. If you want to sample brush colors from this image, set this to 100% and then use the eyedropper. If you want to see your creation more clearly, just drop this opacity down. The background image will not appear on your finished animation unless you check Set Reference Image as Background Image in the Preferences. Once you're done practicing your text animation, clear the canvas and press record. Don't worry about the duration or interruptions as you change settings or tools. Only on-screen brush strokes are recorded. If you make a mistake, just click undo or press Ctrl and Z. This won't be recorded. Once you're done, click Stop Recording and the animation will be loaded on the gallery panel. You can watch it back. And you can manually set the duration that you want by right-clicking and selecting Change Duration. If you want the animation to be transparent when you return to the timeline, so that video shows underneath it, make sure Layer Mode is enabled in the Preferences. If it's disabled, your animation will have your default background color as the background. Once you're happy, just press OK to return to the timeline and your Painting Creator will be added to your media library. Just drag it to the Overlay track and remove the original text box. For text, you might want to repeat the last frame so the viewer has time to read the text once it's finished animating. Just drag the Painting Creator clip out and the last frame will be repeated. To make a reveal, you're going to be creating an animation that you're going to reverse once you're done. I'll use a heart-shaped brush for this. Some brushes have extra properties. For example, shapes have a step function that controls how often the brush shape is repeated when I click and drag the mouse. And as I want to go right to the edges of the frame for this creation, I'll zoom out to actual size. I can slowly cover this background image with the heart.
Then, when I'm back on the timeline, drag it to the overlay track. Double click to open the clip options and select reverse video. Now I have a really easy to make custom reveal for my clip. Or I could pair a forwards reveal animation with a reversed version of the same animation over the boundary between two clips. And now I have a custom wipe. Or if I wanted to highlight something to the viewer, I can draw some graphics onto the clip to show this. Let's do this one as a still. Just switch to still mode. And in this case, I want to use straight lines rather than freehand drawing. I'll draw the items on. And then once I'm done, click snapshot. Then just drag the PNG to the overlay track again. And now I can direct the viewer to what I want them to pay attention to in my clip. You can also use Painting Creator to make some fun callouts. Add some energy lines to this yoga position. Or some accent flashes to this hot air balloon. I can sample the colours of this balloon as I draw each flash on. Once you're back on the timeline, if you find that your subject or object moves too much during your clip, you can always use Customize Motion to move your painting creation as the clip underneath progresses, so that it keeps in line with what you're calling out in your clip. There's so many brushes to choose from in Painting Creator, and you can also import brushes from other Video Studio users, or brushes from Corel Paint Shop Pro, and you can even create your own brushes. To do this, paint one stroke of each brush that you want to combine somewhere on the canvas. And then go to Create Brush Tip. Give it a name, and now your new brush is selectable and ready to use in custom brushes. Have fun with Painting Creator and get creative.